Hello friends! Welcome back everyone to another episode of Cook with Kate. So we have a couple recipes linked today. We have our traditional crispy beer batter linked there and we have used that recipe four times now. We have a honey brown ale to use in that one today. And then the other recipe there, so we're gonna be using the Anova together today to do some sous vide french fries. Actually one of my favorite applications vegetable wise in there. And to go along with that, obviously, any fish and chip plate, we need homemade tartar sauce and slaw, right? Okay, so first things first, I think we are going to start by making up the tartar sauce and the slaw, because both of those things for the dish, they get better if they sit over time in the fridge, right? So we should start with those, and then we can work our way into those potatoes because they do take a little bit of time to cook in the sous vide. Okay, so first things first, let's bump off the tartar sauce, and then the coleslaw. We're just gonna do a very simple coleslaw. So cabbage, shredded carrot, I don't think I'm gonna put like any sort of onion, maybe some chive into there for like a little light fresh onion flavor. And then just your typical like kind of tangy mayo dressing. Okay, slaw. After that, we will do our potatoes. Okay, so after we dry off the potatoes, once they have been blanched, then we blanch them again. So this is why it's called thrice cooked fries. And this is also how you get the best crispy fries ever. Okay, after we do our potatoes, or like in between, we still have to portion our pieces of halibut, so portion fish. And that's another thing that should be relatively dry before we go to batter and fry it. Okay, so we'll portion our halibut, and then literally the last thing we're gonna do before we go outside is make the fish batter. It's always best if you make it like as fresh as possible, guys.
So just be careful when you're dropping stuff into the oil. Always drop it like away from yourself so that if it splashes, it splashes away. Trying to spread that out a bit. It won't, no, they won't stick to the bottom guys. So don't be scared of that. Just gotta go a bit quick now. Get the other half of this tray in. Okay. There we go. So a few minutes on this and then it can come out and then we'll let the oil get up to 350 Fahrenheit. And then we can do our crisp up fry. It's nice to kind of keep them moving as they're cooking if it seems like they're all congregating in one area. These are my favorite size of fries. And then one note on the fryer oil guys, the lower your oil temperature, the more oil your food is going to soak up. So that's why it's so important to have it at the proper temp. So as you guys can see, the potatoes are kind of floating in the oil now. That is your first indication that they are good to come out. Okay, next batch. Keep rolling. Nom, 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 nom. I don't know if any of our Belgians are in today though. Give these a little stir. I think they're good. Usually the second batch doesn't take as long as the first one. I love the squeal as they come out of the oil too. So I'm gonna just turn the oven on to 275 Fahrenheit so that we can hold the fries in the oven while the fish cooks, just so they stay nice and hot. And that way they're not gonna go soggy and they're not gonna dry out either or get too dark. First fries are almost ready, First fries are almost ready. okay. I'll bring the fish out then. The fish and the batter. Oh, those browned up so nice. So nice. Nom, look at that color though. So the first thing you gotta do, as soon as it comes out of the oil, you season with whatever you're choosing. So we're just gonna keep going with what we have already, which is the Tony's. Oh yes, and we said we were gonna do a little bit of Old Bay mixed in. Oh my gosh, a brand new container too? What a treat. Happy birthday, Salmon. I know, Tony's, Matt would be proud. He was in here earlier. Mmm, I think Old Bay fries might be a new thing. Once, twice, three times a cooked fry. <laughs> That's how the song goes, right? I'm allergic to Tony's. I might be, man. Give 
can also see how much they actually cook down. It's really hard to resist fries at any time of day. Like, I don't think I've ever turned down a fry that has been offered to me. It's just not a thing. Unless it looked soggy. <laughs> Hello, Buff. Good to see you. And you can hear the crunch and crisp from those too. Yeah, sweet potato fries. I also like those. I think that is one of my favorite ways to eat sweet potato. It needs to have texture for me. The seasoning I'm using, this is what I'm using, mama, is half and half of these. The Tony's is hard to get in Canada. You gotta go to like Bass Pro Shops or somewhere special or order it online, but the Old Bay is pretty popular here now. Deep frying in an egg, onerous, and it is like one of my favorite things ever. It's so good. Nice color, Sammy. Look, listen to that. Super crispy on the outside. Okay, let's get like two of these pieces on the plate. Also, this like, we'll call that batter lace. That is money right there. Hello, hello there, crispy bits. Okay, we're gonna keep stacking the fish. And those crispy bits, I mean, that's making me want to do some okonomiyaki or something. So here's the thing, Annie. We actually did just like fresh baked pies on the Food for Friends menu this week. <laughs> kind of knowing that we might get like a nice little break this weekend. Well, we had a uh, Paul order two apple pies today when he dropped by. But yeah, other than that, that's really it. So you have a couple pies to make tomorrow on stream, but not as much as I thought we would have. And I'm okay with that because yeah, we I think we need a break been super busy these last few months, but you've been grinding. Okay. Pop our little fry basket right here. Fill it up. Om nom nom. Hope Sam's parents pop in. So you can see that we used the fry basket that they sent Sammy. She's fold up. Okay, I just need a quick little photo op here before we get into it. You paid 20 bucks for this? I think that's fair. I mean, you'd only get two pieces of fish yeah. and half the fries. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna switch up this view so you can see me munch. Cheers, friends, to crispy fishes. And I'm going right for the dip. Halibut fries up really nice. Mmm. The thinner end, it's a bit drier. But with the batter and the sauce, still super good. I would say the like the fatter end of the halibut for sure will be really good. Where's the malt vinegar? I'm so sad, Annie. That was another thing we talked about earlier on stream is other than fish and chips, I don't really eat malt vinegar or use it. Mmm. Okay, so there you go. Really nice little fish stick. So that tartar sauce, the lemon is still pulling through the most, which is so good with fish, right? And yes, I'm double dipping. Please call me out. Thank you, flour. Yeah, 
Like, why don't people fry halibut more often? It's so nice and firm. Okay, I'm gonna hit that button. So tomorrow on stream, because it is Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada, we're gonna do a pie day of sorts. We got pecan pie for Sammy's birthday. We're gonna make a pumpkin pie for our family meal on Sunday. And then we gotta make a couple apple pies for our friends to pick up tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds like a good day for sure. And then we'll take a peek at our little pork broth back here as well. Okay, I'm gonna hit that button. Thank you so much guys for all the love today, especially for Sammy's birthday. Thank you for all the bits, all of our long-term resubs once again today and all the gifted subs too. It all means something for sure to us. Okay, I'm gonna hit that button and we'll see you guys tomorrow. 11 a.m. Pacific time is when we start. See you then. Bye.